Jenny Lindoff with your daily fix for March 21st, 2016. Here's what's happening today. Disney regularly tells you to keep your hands inside the boat for safety reasons, but it seems that this advice doesn't always help on a Disney cruise ship. At least it didn't help Marco Fidel Acosta, whose thumb was amputated when a stateroom door slammed shut on it and severed the digit. The ship's nurse attended to Acosta, wrapped his injury, and put the thumb on ice. However, according to Acosta, it was several days before he received appropriate medical care, and by that time he was told it was too late to reattach the thumb. Disney Cruise Line is now being sued for the incident that alleges negligence and breach of duty. That story is a bit on the dark side, and here's another. New details have been released for the upcoming nighttime Kilimanjaro safari at Animal Kingdom. Disney has explained that the daytime path will be adjusted slightly for the nighttime experience and that there will be longer stops for guests to view the savanna. Additionally, lights will provide the ambiance of a sunset that lasts four to five hours after dusk. This tells us that Animal Kingdom could be open as late as 11.30 p.m. Don't expect this from all the park's attractions, though. Other experiences that involve the animals will be closed after sunset. And by that we mean the real world sunset. Enough about the dark. We need some light in the picture. And Disney Parks blog plans to bring it to you during their Disney Parks Live event. Tonight at 8.50 p.m., Disney Parks blog will be live streaming illuminations from Epcot. The event will begin with a behind-the-scenes look at the operation and end with the show itself. And you can take your seat for it all over at Disney Parks blog. If you've been watching the Diz Twitter feed at all, you've seen some pictures of the construction that's coming along at Disney Springs. More specifically, you've seen pictures of the Coca-Cola building that is slowly going up. Now we have the concept art for the finished product and it looks great. A sleek design in three stories has this building looking smart, but it's the tasting bar on the rooftop that has us excited. Another thing that has us excited is it's one of the few projects to be completed before we all have to apply for our AARP cards. Come on, summer 2016. Along with the summer comes vacation, and over on the Diz, we have a great article about making the most of short vacations at Walt Disney World. It's generally accepted that a week at Walt Disney World is the ideal amount of time, but if you're going to be there less, Dylan Flood has a few suggestions for you, and you'll want to hear about them over on WDWinfo.com. Over on the Diz boards, there's a discussion between those that believe in goodwill and those that are a bit more cynical. Poster Candy0730 describes his first day of vacation when a cast member offered him complimentary parking. Was it a random act of kindness, or was it just a computer system crash? You can weigh in with your opinion on the theme park attractions and strategies forum on disboards.com. Coming up later today on the Diz Unplugged, the Dreams team answers more of your questions in a Q&A show, and the Disneyland team has Karin return with more trip planning advice for the West Coast. Catch those shows later today on DizUnplugged.com. And finally, we have the weather for you. Orlando has some gusty winds and sunny skies today with a high of 66 and dipping down into the 40s tonight. Tomorrow it's still sunny, but with a high of 77. In Anaheim, there are cloudy skies today with a high of 73, and then tomorrow is a repeat. That's our daily fix for March 21st, 2016. For links to all that we've talked about today, head to our homepage at wdwinfo.com dailyfix. I'm Jenny Lynn Knopp. Enjoy your day.